Okay, so the other day, I was sipping out of the same cup. And I had a question. I had a question, Mike. And the question was, do people actually really care about who you are? Or who's teaching them? Or who's entertaining them? Or who's communicating with them? Take another sip and put this down. I believe this is my favorite cup, though. I don't know why. When this is clean and then and ready for me to pour something in it, it just makes me want to get a good cup coffee. But that question the other day was again, do people actually care about who you are here on YouTube? So, I'm becoming a full time YouTuber, I did start my channels back in 2010 so my first channel was a-l-e-v-i-s-i-o-m and then i in 2020 i started a new channel l vision 2020 now that's where you can find all my work basically if you want to see what i've been doing over these past years i have been out here working i did take a break from videography at one time and i managed some artists which still ain't yet, you know, I was grabbing that camera and just recording everything I could. Um, I just have the bugs, man. I just really enjoy capturing moments, whether it's a photo or a thousand photos, you know. I love videos. I love capturing those moments. For me, I, I don't know. It just takes me back. It's my way of going back, you know. Um, you know, like some people can actually, you know, reminisce and think. And they can kind of zone out. For me, if I see that picture, I'm right there. You know, if I see that video, it takes me back instantly. So, for me, that that's my crack. You know what I'm saying? It's what I want to, what I go to. You know what I'm saying? I really do enjoy it. So, I don't want to ramble on. Let's get back. Now, I did get one comment from a family member. He, he I put it out there. I'm not going to put their name out there. You know, I'm another family member getting on. You communicating with him and you talking to him and not talking to me and blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there are a lot of eyes on my actual channel, but, you know, people just ain't commenting. That's okay. I mean, it takes time to think of a thought and type it in and, you know, so on and so forth. You know, but again, let me just go ahead and read my uh, family's comment. Okay, and again, I did ask that question. Do people really care about who you are here on YouTube as a creator? My family member said, it's not that people don't care. It's just that social media is bombarded with so much. At one time, you don't have time to think about anything else. And I can believe that. There's a lot going on. I mean, I try to get on people's page, like, comment whenever I can. But it's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of information flowing through. I mean, even my favorite, you know, YouTubers here, I might miss, you know, a few days, maybe even a week of some of their stuff. I, I don't get the chance to see everything as much as I like their content. So there is a lot of truth to what my cousin is saying. It's basically that he was stating that most people, you know, are just here doing what they do for themselves on the phone, you know, trying to get their message out, which, you know, it's cool. You know what I mean? It really is. I mean, that's my ending line. I tell people to capture the moments and do the best with what you have. And if I was to break that down and give you a little info on that, it would be that, you know, um, this was a quote my father used to state to me. Uh, as a kid growing up and it just stuck with me and I started using it, you know, here on this YouTube channel And again, it's do the best with what you have now I'm one to have got caught up and I gotta have this I gotta have that It's not gonna work if I don't and I don't know where that came from because as a kid My wife even tell you I, I got to get back to that old me I would make it happen whatever I had, you know, what I'm saying if I had had equipment I would mess around and build it or think of another way of you know, um doing what I needed to have done. But when I got into this video production thing, it was a little bit different. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, well, you gotta have the latest gear. Everybody wants the HD, everybody wants the 4K, everybody wants the 8K. 
And that's not to be true because this was many years ago and we're still watching a lot of full HD, 1080. Now you get some people that screaming in 4K, but it's a lot. Now, there will be a time where 4K would take over, 8K and 10K, but right now, 1080 is enough. So, you do, whenever possible, though, want to, you know, record in 4K or 8K, 6K, whatever you have. You know, that's just going to give you a bigger file uh, with more information, more detail, more pixels. But right now, I am shooting in, I believe... 1080 I do have some good lighting going on so the picture and the camera is able to see good detail and again if I'm rambling I apologize I'm just trying to give you an idea of who I am and why I chose to continue to record video now back to me as a kid growing up I uh uh, you know, I, I would I would do the best for what I had, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it was, you know, if I didn't have a bike, I have some skates, you know, I use my skates while everybody else was biking out there, you know, I just made it happen. And again, with this channel, that's my main message across the board is to do the best for what you have, y'all. So if you just have an iPhone, get to recording, man. You know, there's a lot of apps that you can use nowadays on your phone. We all know, you know, I ain't gonna put the buy out there until, you know, they give me that check. It's like, seriously, there's a lot of apps um, to choose from when it comes down to chopping and editing. Now, when I first started out, I started out with a camcorder and I would just kind of just, you know, um, put the, the files or just import the files onto my computer and i would just upload the whole tape if it was 90 minutes worth of footage you've seen everything you know i didn't know anything about chopping up and editing at the time but then i learned that you can actually you know chop the video up put it in any order you want by using software so i started out with adobe premiere and i'm talking years ago y'all i'm serious i've been doing this and i'm not lying you check some of my work it, it's it's well over you know 14 15 years um and again back then i would just grab the camera record put it on my computer upload it to youtube and uh you know i got hooked i'm, I'm still hooked to this day man it's like having your own tv station in a sense and that was something as a kid i always wanted now if i didn't say it earlier my name's andre sorry about rambling on and not giving y'all my name first i normally do open up with that but today again Whatever's in this cup, man, it gets me going. It's going to be my favorite cup. So get used to seeing this cup, y'all. I'm, I'm going to tell you that now. And just remember that it is coffee for now anyway. And uh, it is clean. All right. But with all that being said, I'm not going anywhere. And I do understand time is all we really have. It's our biggest commodity. But I'm gonna leave it on that note, y'all. It's almost 10 minutes, man. I, I was supposed to keep this a little shorter, but you know, I had to let it out. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Video Pro Solutions. Leave those comments because I really want to build a community where we can go back and forth and help each other with figuring out the solutions to problems in video production. You know, photography as well. You know, I'm a full-time YouTuber videographer. That's me, man. That's who I was born to be. A videographer. I know this for a fact now. Because it's all I wake up wanting to do every day. Just turn this camera on. Get to record somebody or myself. Now, lately, it's been more of myself. And uh, put it on that computer and get to editing. Learn new techniques. Learn how to make things happen. So, in the future, I'm going to definitely reach out to other creators. And try to bring them in. And we're going to talk about some of these struggles that we have had. You know, getting up and getting started with video production or becoming a videographer or photographer. Excuse me, what's that? Keep that on so you don't see the light and the screens. 
But anyway, we we better end this, y'all. And I hope I I kept your attention for a little while. But I'm going to end with my quote, as I mentioned earlier. And I hope I covered enough. And if not, come back. I'm, I'm going to be talking again. I'm going to be using the same cup with some good stuff in it. So as I end all my videos, remember to capture those moments and do the best with what you have. Till next video, y'all. Peace.